Good morning especially to our dear Biscanians and dear Salishan educators. We are in the first days of our newly inaugurated school year. And uh, in order to show you Don Bosco Kanlubang, here's uh, the rotunda with the, uh, with the shrine of Our Lady, help of Christians there. And at the end, something very familiar to those who have been here for the past years. But for the new ones, here's what your school looks like. And it's something that uh, we will miss for this year since our instruction is not face-to-face. -face. But anyway, all the same, in behalf of the Salishan community, in behalf of uh, all the members of the EPC, we welcome each one. And uh, yesterday, we had the Holy Mass, the Mass of the Holy Spirit, celebrating the liturgy also of uh, St. Uh, Bartholomew, whose uh, feast we were celebrating yesterday. I'd like to once again reiterate what I have uh, been saying uh, yesterday, that uh, yeah, this is uh, our home, the Boso College, Kandubang. And today is uh, August 25, and uh, we greet in particular our lay mission partners who celebrate their birthday yesterday, August 24, the Feast of St. Bartholomew, was the birthday of Sir Bart Temprosa, Bartolome Temprosa. And he is uh, one whom we always see going around, checking on our different, um, the different rooms and our different facilities. And he's uh, one who is an expert in uh, electricity. So uh, that's what he contributes to our, to our EPC. The other one, uh, a lay bishop partner who celebrates her birthday today, August 25, is um, Mom E.J. Castillo, Mom Erna Joyce Castillo. And if you remember yesterday, she was one of the awardees for perfect attendance and for excellence. So we continue uh, encouraging her in this good example that she gives to the other lay mission partners. Uh, today also, August 25, we commemorate something in history. So this is not liturgical, but it's uh, something from church history that uh, today is the closing of uh, what you see there on your screen, Council of Nicaea, in the year 325. By the way, if you see AD there, uh, AD 325, AD is familiar to all of us. It means Anno Domini, meaning in the year of the Lord. And uh, so in 325 AD, that Council of Nicaea convened and uh, it had the different uh, subjects to consider. And one of them, the main thing is about the Holy Trinity. So on this day, August 25, 3 to 5 AD, that Council of Nicaea ends with the adoption of the Nicene Creed, establishing the doctrine of the Holy Trinity. So where is Nicaea? It's in modern-day Turkey. The name is Itznik. And the, the Council established, as I was saying, the equality of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Holy Trinity. And then it also asserted that only the Son being, became incarnate as Jesus Christ. It is in answer to a heresy that was being taught. What is a heresy? A false teaching. And uh, that false teaching was called Arianism. And uh, here, the Council of Nicaea corrected that heresy of Arianism, saying uh, that yeah, we have the Holy Trinity. And uh, there, will be, there can be, still be a lot of uh, discussion about that, no? that's studied in theology. But just to say that we believe in the Holy Trinity, and one of the things that we, uh, how we express this teaching is when we do recite the Nicene Creed. So the Nicene Creed gets its name from the Council of Nicaea. And uh, we pray this every Sunday after the, or after every, during every solemnity, after the homily. We pray the Nicene Creed, or sometimes the Apostles' Creed. They have uh, some difference. The Nicene Creed is more detailed. And uh, if you look at the Nicene Creed, these are the truths of the faith that we have. Parang pagsasabi natin na yung pananampalataya, hindi lamang siya yung pananalig. 
Pero ito'y paniniwala. Ano yung pinaniniwalaan natin? What do we believe in? So today, this is the question that we're asking. What do we believe in? And yesterday, we uh, recited a special kind of creed for each one, for the students and for the teachers. But uh, when we as uh, professors of theology, when uh, I go to Don Bosco Paranaque in our school of theology there, at the beginning of the school year, we recite the Nicene Creed to say that what we teach is something that adheres to the doctrines of the church. And here, I'd like to uh, recite that creed together with you, this uh, Nicene Creed. And let us all together pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So that is what we believe in. I wish you all the best uh, in your stay here in Don Bosco. One of the tenets that we have, one of the aspects of the educative uh, method of Don Bosco is religion. And so this is a good morning talk that somehow would uh, encourage you in all of us in, that, in, this, uh, in, in this educational system of St. John Bosco. Uh, before I go, I'd like to give uh, some announcements from the principal, Ms. Bernadette Salonga, and she's reminding us of the schedule for the basic education department for this coming week. So August 25 and 26, that's today and tomorrow, the meeting with the subject teachers, it's uh, kinder to grade three, grade seven to grade 10, grade 11, uh, that's for August 25, and then grade four to six, and grade 12, August 26. Tomorrow also, August 26, will be the meeting with the advisors on the goal setting. That's from grade 7 to 10. August 25 to 27, meeting with Father Abel de Ocampo, the pastoral head for the new Buscanians. So today, it will be grade 4 to grade 6 at 8 a.m. August 26, kinder to grade 3 at 8, 8 a.m., August 26 also, tomorrow, junior high school, 1.30 to 2 p.m. August 27, senior high school, 1.30 to 2 p.m. And then on August 27, there will be the orientation, part two of your orientation, with the assistant principal for student affairs, Mr. Herbert de la Resma. It's about the conduct rating from K to 12. And then the, on, so on that day, August 27, the grade school will have a meeting with the advisors and orientation on the use of add-ons. And on August 28, the meeting of the class advisors with their students regarding the guidance activity. That is from grade 4 to 12. So I wish you all the best today. Have a great day. God bless you.